Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday, Darren and Tawanda. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Seven with Chad and Marvy. Yes. So we're excited to um, do a comeback, like a replay. I don't know how would you call it, Tawanda, a return of a, <laughs> of a recipe that everybody keeps asking us about. Um, we did this a few months back, like I said, in the invite, but so we decided we're gonna do it again, okay? It's one of those dishes that's um, complete. A casserole is supposed to be a complete dish. It's very similar to your one um, dish rice, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. So anyway, while we're waiting on a couple of other people that I know are supposed to be cooking with us, hey, um, Darren T, are you making this trusel as well? Yes. You're not? Okay, just the Mexican casserole. All right, perfect. You know what we don't have right here with our ingredients is, um, I just realized I'm looking at it, we don't have the tortilla chips. Or do we have the tomatoes? You don't have to bring out the tomatoes. No, we do have the chunky salsa, um, but we need to crush some of our tortilla chips. Are you ready? Okay. All right. So Tawanda, the very first thing we're doing for Solid Master owners, if you don't know what this cooking class is about, so every Sunday we go live and we always share um, dishes that only have seven ingredients or less. So what we normally do is we take a recipe that we really like and then my husband and I, we go through the lengths of trying to simplify it so that you will have only seven ingredients or less. For example, this recipe that you're about to try with us, it actually has originally 12 ingredients, okay? So today, we're going to make it with only seven. So here we go. We also try to share these dishes with you um, two different ways. So you can see the difference. At the same time, it's also because we do wanna encourage as many of you as possible to go back to home cooking, whether you are a solid master owner or not. Okay, makes sense. So here we go. Hello, welcome Gina. So if you are a solid master owner, we are going to use our EOC and please preheat your EOCs now to 450 degrees. I've been doing that with ours, okay? For those of you who are interested in learning how to make this the traditional way, what you're gonna have to do is preheat your big oven, your traditional oven to 350 degrees. And then as soon as you started preheating that, you're going to take a skillet, anything that you have, uh, and you're going to use that to cook your ground meat, whatever it is that you're using. So let me ask um, Gina, what are you using as your meat today? I'm using ground turkey. You're doing ground turkey. Tawanda, you're using what today, T? We're doing ground turkey. Oh, you're both ground turkey. We are doing ground beef that's very lean, like 93%, okay? So we're all doing some sort of a healthy um, ground meat today, right? So right now, while we're waiting on the preheat, the preheating of the EOC, I wanna make mention, if you wanna make this vegan, which one of our good friends has done and she loved it, she used portobello mushrooms, she just diced it up, okay? And that replaced her ground meat. Okay, so you want to make it vegan. And then everything else, the sour cream and the cheese, those are the only two things that are actually dairy based. If you want to do it with vegan, then you just um, get your vegan substitutes, okay, for your sour cream and your cheese. It's easy as that. And then you will have a vegan Mexican casserole. Perfect. Okay, so okay. Um, what I, if you notice, what I'm going to do is crush our tortilla chips. I have one cup here. I'm just going to add another one. <laughs> My husband is crushing our tortilla chips because we forgot to do this, okay? So preheating, preheating at 450 degrees. 
If you're doing it the traditional way, then you please go ahead and start browning or cooking whatever meat you're using on your stovetop at medium high. You don't necessarily have to go all the way high, okay? Especially if you're using something like turkey. It cooks really fast, okay? And then I'll go step by step with you. Are you guys ready? So my EOC is actually ready. There we go. I will add, because we always try to eliminate the use of cooking oil whenever we're using our salad master. It doesn't mean that you can't use um, oil with salad master, okay? It's not gonna destroy it or anything. But if you're trying to avoid fats, then you may do so by not using oil at all. That's what we're doing today. So instead of oil, because I have very lean ground meat, here's what I'm gonna do. I have about tea, and Gina, you're gonna do the same thing because you're not using oil, right? Please grab some water, about one third to a half of a cup of water, and you're gonna use that with your meat to cook it. Because if not, it's going to be very dry. Make How sense? much cup of water, Marvin? One third to half a cup. Half a cup, okay, thanks. Go we'll start with one third cup, Gina, to make sure. Here we go. And I'm going to grab one of my, here, and we'll cook our two cup of, two cups of meat. In our case, we're using ground beef. Okay, do you see this? Did you say two cups of meat, Mari? Yes, which is equivalent to one pound, remember? Yeah. So two cups of your ground meat is like one pound. That's what we have in our recipe. Right, Tawanda? Did you get the recipe ingredients? You did, right? I see. I did. Okay. So we're following that to a T. And while we're browning and cooking our meat at 450 degrees in the EOC or on your stovetop, what we can do now as well is add our taco seasoning. Honey, can you please grab the taco seasoning? So I did say in the invite, two to three tablespoonfuls of taco seasoning. Here's why. Um, if you don't have the chili beans like us, okay, there's another, this is another um, great tip for substitution. We run out of chili beans and I didn't realize. So we only have black beans. So black beans is not as um, seasoned or as flavorful as the uh, canned chili beans, right? So what I'm gonna do is instead of using only two tablespoonfuls of taco seasoning, I will use three tablespoonfuls, okay? So Gina and Tuana and everyone else, that's where you can adjust as far as the saltiness of your dish is concerned, cool? Here we go. Here's my taco seasoning, and I'm going to add my three tablespoonfuls. I'm going to grab my own honey so I don't um, use yours. One, two, three. There you go. You can add more or lessen it according to your taste. So we're cooking our meat. So Morgan, um, Morgan is somebody, Morgan Vickery, hello, thank you for reaching out to us. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to join us today, but for your sake, I will say that, so you will have to um, brown and cook your meat on your stovetop. As soon as you're done browning your meat, and cooking your stovetop together with your taco seasoning, the next thing you're gonna have to do is grab your baking dish. And I did say, if you're doing this a traditional way, for this amount of meat and everything else in our recipe, you will need a nine by 13 baking dish, okay? That you will use with your regular oven. Okay, so we do have a few people joining us on Facebook Live. We have Sandra Beltran. Hi. Hello, Sandra. Uh, Saber Hernshaw. I really wanna see uh, you cook with us Saber one day. Saber Hernshaw, sorry. And then we have Rowena Sambilay. 
Or Rowena, are you cooking with us again, but did not join us on Zoom as usual? I have my rebel friend in California who refuses to join us on Zoom. <laughs> Therefore, we can never see her face while she's cooking with us. Are you cooking with us, Wang? She sent us a message in case if you're on Facebook and you're also cooking with us, please uh, let us know through the message. Yes, section. please. Yeah. Uh, or if you're watching this on replay later on, uh, we're doing our um, seven ingredient Mexican casserole. And, yes. Um, I wonder if uh, mommy Esther somehow was able to join us. She was really looking forward to this last night. I'm not sure what happened. She might be with us on Facebook. Mommy Esther, if you're with us, please say hi. I would love to know that you're with us. All right, so here, Tawanda and Gina, you're okay? Do you see this? It's starting to get really cooked, right? So I'm gonna leave this open for just a minute and then we're gonna start dumping everything else. So the people who are doing this the traditional way, you're gonna have to move first your cooked uh, meat on your stove top and then put that on your baking dish. That will be the very first layer in your baking dish, okay? Flatten it at the bottom. And then after that is, dun, 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 dun. is your meat ready, Tawanda and Gina? Ours is pretty much ready. Do you see this? Almost. Not quite. Not quite? Okay. Getting there. When this is ready and you feel like your meat is done, what you have to do is lower your temperature to 350 degrees, okay? So we're going from 450 to 350 and honey, the first thing that goes in there after the meat will be the crushed tortilla chips. You're going to evenly um, spread it up or sprinkle it on top of your meat. Hi, daddy, Chester from the Philippines. Okay. So you'll evenly spread out your crushed tortilla chips on top of your meat okay. in your AOZ or your baking dish. Okay. So, um, Mikhail, we can shift to this camera, please. So hi to uh, Julie, who I think is joining us through Facebook Live. Luz, hi, Julie. Luz uh, Deliso, and uh, we have G, G Salvador as well. Hi, G. Please do cook with us one of these days. So I'm dumping two cups of crushed tortilla chips on top of the ground meat. All right, and you can go back to the main camera up here. All right. After that, what's next? After your crushed tortilla chips, you're doing this on your EOC, okay? Or your baking dish will be your chili beans. In our case, because we run out of chili beans, honey, we're using? Black beans. Black beans, okay? So yeah, so in this Here, recipe, ahead. again, uh, you, can, sure you, do you can use uh, whatever you have in your pantry. We're trying to encourage people to not be afraid to use whatever you have in your pantry. That's use them right. all up. Clear up your pantry so you can bring in fresh new groceries. Okay, so I just want to... Yes, but without the liquid, make sure you don't add in the liquid, okay? Okay. Make sure you don't add in your liquid to kind of like beans. drain, okay? So we're doing the black beans. You see this? So we're just evenly distributing all of these. And then coming after that will be your chunky salsa. Here we go. Chunky salsa coming up. Here we go, switch. Is Mommy Esther with us? I'm wondering. Um, Cheska, did you see Mommy Esther somewhere? No. I see Antoinette Kamuta. Hi, Antoinette, our ever loyal friend. Okay. And then I'm doing the chunky salsa right on top of it. 
So we're literally dumping, you guys. Do you see this? We're literally dumping everything afterwards. After the salsa, get ready with your sour cream. sour cream. Okay. So do I need to grate the cheese now? Yes, but let's do the sour cream first. Okay. So just even it all out. Do you see this? I'm evening it all out on top. So another thing you can do if you want to add some more, because I know some people like a lot of tomatoes, feel free to add um, freshly diced, fresh diced tomatoes, okay? On okay. top of your salsa. So Marvie's going to be layering in the sour cream. In the meantime, I have here a block of cheddar cheese. I'm using the salad master processor here. Yes. Using cone number one. Okay. Yes, because we always say it, it's always better to shred your cheese. Okay. Oh, honey, we do have this one too. You're going to have to cut that as well. Okay. So after your salsa, moving on, Tawanda and Gina and anyone else who's cooking with us on Facebook, I think I have a couple at least. We are going to do our sour cream. So again, if you want to make this vegan, you simply would have to substitute your meat with um, diced portobello mushrooms. And then grab your sour cream that's vegan. And my friend Adri, shout out to Adri. She's not here, but she's already used this recipe and she really loved it. She's vegan. Um, right. William, thanks for joining us. Uh, we are preparing a very simple seven ingredient. Which William? Uh, Flores. Uh, Hi, William. Mexican casserole. <laughs> we have so many William friends. That's why I had to ask, which William? Hi, William Flores. So there you go. Do you see this? All the goodness going in there. And the next thing that's supposed to go in there actually is your black olives. All right. Now, I always tell people this, the beauty of this, because sometimes kids don't like black olives, right? And if you're trying to make your kids eat this, and they're gonna pick on the black olives, you know what you can do? Your sliced olives, you can put it on just one side and then try to remember which side it is that you put your olives on, whether it's close to your probe or to the other half, okay? On the other half, you can put your olives on that side alone. Okay, um, so I think Wang transitioned to Zoom. So Wang, so far, it's very easy. We browned our meat with one third cup of water. Okay, we have to do this first, honey. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yes, um, please drain that. And then um, we have to cut. We're gonna cut our olives because the last thing that you want on the very top is your cheese, okay? It's the same exact concept if you were doing this on a baking dish, a regular baking dish. And it will have to be um, baked in your traditional oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Solid master owners, we're doing everything one step, okay? We went from two steps to one step in our EOC, which is phenomenal. So is it correct to use this? Yes, here inside, please drop. Okay, here we go. We are going to slice up our um, black olives real time. Go ahead, honey. And you just pushed it again. All right, go. And I'm going to grab the olives that he's cutting up and I'm going to put it on just this side, okay, honey? Because the kids don't like it as much. It will all be on our side of the pan. I'm trying to remember it by putting it on the side that's away from the probe. Do you see this? <laughs> it's like pizza. Only this topping on one side, another on the other. Do you see this, Mikael? Can you please show everybody? There you go. Do you see how I did that? Again, if you have kids or people that don't want the olives, make sure you just remember which side has the olives. And in comes all our cheese goodie. Goodness, yum. So this is two cups of cheese, you all, but I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna pound on that, like put more cheese, hey, feel free. <laughs> feel free to do so. Is this two cups, honey? Yeah. Or? Just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. I want it to be more. All right? 
There you go. Did you see that? All the cheese is in there. And what I'm going to do is I will simply cut up some green onions on top of it because we like our green onions, right? Mm -hmm. Even the kids like this. So I'm going to be generous in doing this. Here you go. You can reserve some of your green onions for um, garnishing when you're plating your Mexican casserole later. But I like incorporating it so that it actually um, gets with a melted cheese. It gets mixed with it, you know? Because I do really like the flavor for real. It's not just for garnishing for me. All right, so do you see that? Green onions on there. Ta-da! And now we're covering this at 350 degrees, okay? And we are going to wait, Gina and Tawanda, we'll simply wait. Actually, we're not gonna wait. We're gonna lower our temperature all the way, okay? To 220, 220. Lower your temperature to 220, Gina. And then time it for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. After 20 minutes, um, try to remember this. We're not turning it off completely because what we're going to do, you will see it when we open the lid later, our cheese would have melted. Nice. But we want the cheese to be a little bit brown, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do is after 20 minutes, we bring up our temperature all the way to 350 again and leave our um, lid a little bit open, about an inch for like five to seven minutes, depending on how brown your cheese, you want your cheese to be, all right? Okay. So this is going okay, 20 minutes on this one. Ready for the streusel? Okay. Yes. So Wang, since you just joined us. Hi Wang. Really quickly, it's a, it's a layering process. You brown the meat first, and after you brown the meat, you put your two cups of crushed tortilla chips, and then after that, you put your beans of choice, usually chili beans. Oh, make sure that with your meat, you added your taco seasoning, mm -hmm. okay? Your taco seasoning goes with your meat. Are you using your 4.5 quart mini on the quart mini brazier pan? Yeah. Now you can use that. Perfect. Okay, so brown your meat with three tablespoons of taco seasoning. Add your crushed tortilla chips, add your beans, add your uh, chunky salsa, add your sour cream, add your... Uh, olives and then your grated cheese on top okay and then you slice your green onions and then leave it for 20 minutes at 220 okay that's on the eoc but if you're doing it on your stove top wang that means um leaving it at about medium low for about 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes you put it up to medium again and you do like five to seven minutes just to brown the cheese okay there goes your Mexican casserole. Thanks. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our dessert. Are we ready? Let's see first if people are ready to move on. Okay, hi to uh, Boom Shaka, my friend. Hi. <laughs> hey, smurf um, hands, right. I got my smurf hands here. Boom Shaka, hey, I do need to reach out to you once again because I really want you to get that piece that you won that one time that we did the raffle draw. Do you remember? I do want to um, reach out to you about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to be doing um, our apple streusel. So this is also very, 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 very simple. You'll need four apples for this. Okay. Medium size. And uh, I'm going to be using again our processor here from Salad Master. I believe this is cone number five. Five. <laughs> it's the waffler. <laughs> Okay, you can use your thin cut slicer, your thin slicer, which is number four. But I personally wanted to see, do you see this? The waffle cut, I want the pretty cut with my dessert today. <laughs> mm. We're doing about, I think we can do away with three um, big apples. We do have um, some pretty big apples today. Okay. We're going to need a bowl for it. Honey. I'm going to help my hubby because um, it's spilling all over. 
We do need a bowl for this one. Oh, by the way, um, for those friends of ours and family who are not familiar, this is the Solid Master um, processor. You guys, if you're interested in this thing, this is phenomenal. This is my, my best gadget. <laughs> it makes my life so much easier. You have a way to earn this. If you're interested, reach out to me and I'll let you know how. It's so doable. But there you go. Smart pants. <laughs> Okay. All right. So after doing that with your machine or um, anybody who wants to do the apple streusel, you can do that. So just slice up your apples thinly. How thin? This is the best Oops. ideal size. Can we go back to the main camera? For okay. This is the ideal size. Here we go. There. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like here, there. <laughs> do you see it? Yeah, I'll say they're like mm -hmm. crinkle cut right. potatoes. Okay, so what do we do next? Um, Gina, are you doing the apple streusel as well? Yes, I am. Perfect. So what do we do with our cut apples? What we want to do now in a bowl is add one third cup of sugar. You know how we have two thirds cup of sugar in the recipe. So we'll use half of that one third of that. Put it in your apple now and your one fourth teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Did you get that? So in the same bowl where you have your sliced apples, you add your one fourth teaspoon of vanilla, one third cup of sugar, we're using the brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. One fourth vanilla, honey, you're doing great. So the people who are doing or who are going to do this the traditional manner, you simply, you're doing the same um, thing right now, okay? But you're going to need a round baking dish, whatever you have at home. And you're also going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because that's what you're going to bake this at, at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. That's where the problem comes in. You know why? Look, if you're doing both of these dishes, and you don't have solid mass, or you're gonna use it in your traditional oven, you're gonna wait for one to finish first. Because <laughs> you can't do this together. It, it kind of like, um, it changes the result, okay? So you're gonna have to wait for the casserole to get done before you can do your apple strudel. Where's it one and a half of this? Just one. Okay. One teaspoon full. Okay, I'm done. And we're gonna toss that. We're gonna mix it. Honey, mix please. Okay. Toss it with your Smurf hands. <laughs> There you go. Okay, yeah. And then what's next? All right. And then you're going to put this. Dun, 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 dun. Salad master people will bake this in their nine inch skillet on their stove top. Okay. Daddy, mommy, I can't wait for you guys to have this in the Philippines. The kids will enjoy this. Here we uh, go, honey. Medium? Not yet. Not yet. Just put it in your bake in your um, nine inch skillet first, because we're going to prepare our streusel. Hi Ryan. For anything Ryan. else. Hi. Who's Ryan? Ryan is my friend. Ibao. Hi Ryan from the Philippines. The Philippines is always represented in our class, no, which is so amazing. early in the Philippines today. Oh, you can use the same bowl, honey. Okay. Okay, so Gina, are you done with this? Yes, I am. Okay, then the next thing is, what you're gonna do is you can use the same bowl. I'm not particular, so we don't have too many bowls to wash, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna add this time one half cup flour, whatever flour you have. We're using gluten-free flour, actually. You can use your all-purpose flour, okay? So you will combine one half cup of your flour, the other third cup of your sugar, right? And then your cold butter. What does cold butter mean? It's a cold butter is something that's at room temperature that's soft enough, okay? Because you kind of thawed it out a little bit. 
but it's not melted. That's what cold butter is, okay? Okay. So one half cup of uh, flour, flour and then one third of sugar. One third of your sugar. And the ingredient list said one fourth cup of cold butter. Okay. But we are going to use one third cup of cold butter. Why? Because Marvie loves butter. <laughs> okay. You can use everything, honey. Okay. Perfect. And you're going to mix that all together. My husband is going to do it with his smart, smart hands. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, just... <laughs> you, you're going you're gonna to combine everything until it's grainy. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you can try to be clean and protect your hands like he's doing. He's using a fork. It's not the same. I'll, use, I'll mix it later in a bit. Okay. We're creating our streusel, okay? The flour, the sugar, and your butter is the streusel. And then you will also add half a teaspoon of vanilla to that. All right? So the majority of your vanilla actually went to the apples, right? So this is just an addition. Now, feel free. If you're somebody who loves like cinnamon like we do, I tend to like like cinnamon a lot feel free to add are we gonna add vanilla too no no there's no vanilla in your streusel we want the streusel to be grainy okay so you can't keep adding liquid to that it's gonna become runny we want it to be grainy okay all right mikael do you want to show everybody what it looks like with this camera go ahead honey you can show it to them okay so there's nothing to show here except that it's getting brown and it's, uh, yeah. No, Grainy. It's the butter. So this is how you make your streusel, okay? Perfect. I think we can remove this now, right? Can you remove this now? Okay, I will remove our machine so that you can see better. There you go. All right, there you go. Have more space too. It becomes like a dry dough, dough right? Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Gina and Wang? Yes. Wang also making the streusel, Wang? My daughter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Are yeah, you okay? Perfect. All right. So no, I can form it into a ball now. <laughs> He likes doing this, you know, he likes making pizza dough from scratch. So he loves this. He's like playing <laughs> like a kid. Daddy, look at your son. He's having fun. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Okay. And then we're going to generously spread that on top of our apples. Just on the top. We don't mix it. No, on the top. It's on the top. Remember, Tawanda? I thought Sky for sure was going to make this with us today because it's her favorite. My friend Ty's favorite. Yeah, I'm surprised she's not with us today. They can't have it this late. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to make a struggle. When you guys order like um, pastries from Panera or Starbucks, this is how they make their streusel as well. Exactly. Do you see this? So generous serving. Now, the the um. The recipe I gave you, Gina, that's basic. People always tell me, can I add more? I feel like I want to add more. I always tell them, hey, go ahead. Just use the same ratio, but feel free to add according to your taste. Now we simply cover this and guess what? We turn our stove into medium, okay? We're baking our streusel on the stove top. If you're doing this in your regular oven, it will be at 350 degrees preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how brown you want it. Solid master owners, stove top, okay, at medium. When the valve starts clicking, do you know what we do? We open it, okay, and then we'll leave it open until our desired browning. Does that make sense? Now, here's the trick. If you want your apples to be a lot more mushy, then when the valves start clicking, you turn your stove to low 
and leave it there for like 15 more minutes to cook it through if you want it that way, mushy. Our family wants it a little bit crunchy, right, honey? Yes. So we don't cook it as much. <laughs> yeah. We just want the added flavor of the streusel and the cinnamon, and we still want it crunchy. Yeah. That's why we do it differently, okay? That's the difference, all right? Hi to Stephanie Rebellion and her brother Harold, who's also watching us. Harold Biggs, who's that? And our sister Joy Sebastian. Hello. So we are at five minutes on our um with our casserole, with our Mexican casserole. All right. And look, now we have nothing to do. But wait. <laughs> So what are we going to do? We can talk. <laughs> what do y'all want to talk about anyway? <laughs> There's a request if we could do something plant-based. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, if it's Harold asking earlier, I did mention this Mexican casserole recipe that I just shared. Um, my vegan friend actually adopted this. And instead of using meat, she diced up some portobello mushrooms. And she just substituted the sour cream with the plant-based sour cream and the cheddar cheese with daya. I do have that as well. That's a plant-based cheese. So you substitute those three ingredients and this is completely vegan. Question, what would you eat with your Mexican casserole? Well, because there's tortilla in there right now, then usually, you know, we actually use it like a dip or a tortilla with tortilla chips or we do it with, um, what do you call this? Soft tortilla. You can actually um, put this on top of, or like put it inside a tortilla, like a burrito, or you just eat it with tortilla chips. Right, so if let's say you excluded that layer of crushed tortilla mm -hmm. chips, and next week is Super Bowl, right? This is a perfect dip for Super Bowl. Exactly. Yeah. To wonder what makes it a casserole is the addition of the carbs. You see, the carbohydrate. That's what casseroles are supposed to be. I was explaining it earlier. Casseroles are supposed to be standalone, like one um, dish meal, like a lot of the rice dishes that we have in the Asia, okay? The addition of that tortilla is what makes it a casserole. One of the things that you can add to this that we did not do because we were trying to simplify it, remember? From 12 ingredients to seven, that's what we did, is um, rice, right? Oh, we could you have added rice. rice with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Because that like a like a traditional casserole. Yes. But our kids like it this way, so um, we don't need to serve it with anything else. We just get our bowl, put on the TV, eat it while we watch TV. <laughs> That's it. All right. So I only have like three more minutes with my casserole. Gina, how are you doing? I have three minutes left. Casserole. Okay, perfect. We're almost at this. Yeah, we have almost a similar timing. Um, next week, what I'm thinking of doing, honey, is actually another repeat. You know why? I'm craving it. <laughs> I'm craving it because it's really good. And I'm going to put him on the spot because he's actually the master for this recipe in our home. You guys want to know? I want to do the Spanish sardines that we make. Oh, okay. Our, our Spanish, it's not really sardines because sardines is the type of fish, right? But it's Spanish. I don't know what to call it. So you can use your own fish. You can use mackerel. You can use tuna, salmon. You can use canned tuna. We, I love it with salmon. We use fresh, fresh salmon. We use fresh salmon. And then um, Harold, if you wanted to make that, we actually make that with mushrooms as well. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Or the and Super Bowl. <laughs> so you can, it's not that hard, guys. So you can still have your TV on watch the game and hopefully it's not a very eventful quarter then you can make your spanish dish. now i think what we're gonna do is um thank you for being okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our class next week at four four okay so right before right? Half time. yeah the beginning. in the beginning okay right so you can have your food ready for super bowl at 5 30. <laughs> perfect right <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> fanatics out there you probably want to watch the pregame and everything but feel free to join us if you'll have a tv in your kitchen <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're gonna do okay so announcement everybody 
if you wish to join us for next week's cooking class, please come join that because I kid you not, this Spanish dish is amazing. So for uh, Filipinos, this is usually comes in bottles, right? Bottle sardines. We'll do it three way with mushrooms, with canned tuna to make it so much easier for some of you and fresh um, salmon fillets. Yep. Perfect. So we'll do it three different ways. With okay. three it's different okay. Meats. If we have a lot of them, we should restore them and then we eat it throughout the week. They don't last. Yeah. I, I love it. Daddy, I can't wait to make it for you, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy Chester. Hi to uh, Marivic Valiarta. Hi, Marivic. Um, Gloria Labrador. Hello, everyone. And Julie. Thanks for dropping yes, by. Yes, join us next week for the Spanish sardines, okay? Julie. Escobar. Oh, Julie's here. She, what happened, Julie? She just said, great. What happened to you, my dear friend, Julie? Oh, Irene. Irene Laila is also here. So. Hi. Okay, so my timer went off. Okay, okay. so what am I doing? I told you we're going to bring up the temperature in our EOC to 350. Traditional people doing it in the big oven, you just need 350, 30 minutes straight up. Okay, solid master people, here we go. Look, ready? Mikael, can you show them this, please? I wanna reveal what it looks like. Ready? There. Okay, there, here we go. That's what it looks like. Do you see that? So I brought up my temperature to 350 and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave it, leave my um, lid open about an inch. Do you see this Gina mm -hmm. and Tawanda? Yes. So now my temperature is up again at 350 and then I'm going to time that from five to seven or eight minutes depending on how brown you want your cheese on top. Yeah. Cool. We can do and away. it's done. You can do away with eight minutes because like, we yes. have a lot of time. Is it getting hot? Yes, it's hot. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. This is hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are we doing anything else with, um, okay, side by side with our, um, it's going to be cooking on steroids for us on Sunday next week. But for you, you can just choose your meat. So it doesn't have to be that way for you guys. It's just one or two. And I think what I want to do, honey, next week, I do want this sort because it's um, it's Super Bowl. Okay. I want to make the, the Black Forest dump cake. <laughs> Chocolate with cherries and ice cream. Perfect for Super Bowl. <laughs> how about that, Gina? Do you want that? <laughs> Let me show you how to yeah. make that. Huh? Anything chocolate is good. Right, let's do the, the black forest, okay? Chocolate cake and cherries. What more could you want? And some ice cream or whipped cream. Ooh. Ooh sounds good. I've already left. I know. That's what we're going to make next week, okay? Together with our Spanish thing. Gina's camera is out there on her EOC already. I know, right? She's ready to share it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gina, it smells, it smells so good. I know. I'm right on top of and I can hear the sizzle. Can you hear the sizzle? Mm -hmm. I can hear the sizzle of my um of mine. Oh, look at that. All right, so I only have three more minutes on that. We have 15 minutes on the clock. Did you guys see how fast that was? So how long for this again? Until it starts clicking. Oh yeah, okay. We're waiting for the ball to click on this one. Okay. So Gina, with your apple strusel, when it starts clicking, do you want your apples to be a little bit more cooked? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, Either so what I'm going to do is lower your temperature. Okay. Okay, medium low and leave it on for like 10 minutes. And then after that, just open your lid about a minute, um, an inch long, uh, inch big, <laughs> inch cap, and then, um, Leave that for about five minutes just to dry up your top, your strusel part. It's a little bit crunchy. Make sense? Okay. <laughs> It'll be so good, you guys. Sandra left already, but you know what? Um, I think I want to give some to Sandra, my dear friend, Sandra Fuentes. Okay, so it's clicking. So do you want to cook it a little bit, honey? No, it's okay. We can go low or leave it at medium. Here's what we're gonna do because we want ours crunchy. After the clicking of the valve, 
All we're gonna do is open it, okay? And we're gonna leave it for like, oh, so everything smells so Cinnamon good. smells so good. Our kitchen smells like your grandma's house. Heaven. <laughs> Between the Mexican casserole and the cinnamon. Mm, okay. Smells like home. We need to have a reunion or something. <laughs> All right, Tawanda, are you, is yours done? I think yours is done, right? Yours is probably done. It is done? Something. Okay, uh, Mikhail, are you ready to share the key? Sure thing. You Forgot ready? how to switch it. Okay. Oh, there you go. That. Do you see how pretty? See, that's perfectly brown. Look at the edges. Look at that. Looks wonderful. Do you want to try it for us, please? And then we're going to go to Gina while you're plating that. Mikael, can we please look at Gina's? Ta-da! Oh, oh are you excited? Too. Gina, yeah. please um, grab some and tell us how you like it. We're going to okay. come back to you, OK? Sure. Are we ready to play? Uh, no, we're not. Ours, our, our, I'm looking at your cheese. I think we started ours a little bit later. So No, it's more because he, there, here, honey, look, we have a lot of olives on one side, too. Yeah. Let's give it two more minutes. OK, he wants two more minutes on ours. OK, let me use the timer then for just two minutes. And we're done. So um, Wang, Sambila, are you able to catch up so far? You have questions? I want to see. Wangs. <laughs> OK. <laughs> can we go to Wangs and Bilai, please? She's right there, Mick. Can we please spotlight this Wang, Rowana? Um, wait, how to change this? Doing it on her, in her 4.5 quart mini bracer pan. Oh, it oh, also looks so good. Look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, not, that's pretty fast. Amazing. I know. Okay, now we're going to Tawanda. Wang, please plate some and tell us how you like it, okay? We're going to do another round. Tawanda, are you ready to show us your plate? I'm so excited. I'm ready. I'm having somebody else taste test it. But I'll show you the plate. You know how to twist it. Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Ready. Here we go. Here's the plate. Let me see. Mikael, can we please go, please, to Wanda? Oh, did you try it? I have a taster trying it. <laughs> you have and a taster. So far, <laughs> yes. She's, oh, she's melting. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it. She's melting. No, it's really good. So good. So oh, good, she said. Who's your taster? I want to see who the taster is. Let's see if she's um, oh. reliable. It's Damaris. <laughs> she's reliable. She's reliable. She's reliable. <laughs> Sky. Then the camera kept on going up, and then like, oh, it was a close. <laughs> is it really good, Damaris? For real. Scale of one to ten. Mika, please spotlight Damaris. Like, for real. What did she okay. say? Is it good? Yeah, Hold on. Darren. Hold on. No, I. Okay. Is it really good? That she said. Is it's it really? Really good. It's really good. There you go. You're on spotlight now. <laughs> one to ten. One to ten. Well, it's really good. You know. Can you hear? One she said ten. it's really good. I'm a foodie. Okay. I'm a foodie. So there you I go. Play. Play. <laughs> you know. Okay. That's Gina. Thanks, Damaris. I'm so glad you get to try it. Gina, we're going to you. Who's your who, who's your taste tester? <laughs> yes, it's he's good. hiding. It's good. Okay, come on. Come on, big Joey. guy. It's my Moment son, Joey. Truth. Moment of truth. Be honest. Yeah. Keeper. Oh, meh. Don't be afraid. We want feedback that's real. <laughs> it's really good. I'm eating it right now. Ah, awesome. but we. I'm. I'm curious to know what the team. What the team says. It's the team's taste that matters. <laughs> it's my thing. Mm -hmm, it's good. Atetik mama mama kung you said it's good. Gina, Gina. Yeah. 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 There you go. Mikael, don't move until they say what they think it is. 
Good. Is it really good? All right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wang, going to you now. Oh, Wang is gone. The ate is gone. I think the ate. Okay, I need somebody oh, to taste this. She um, said, um, kid. hey, Mars, she said, mmm, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to show herself. Uh, really good. Yeah. Oh, I can see right? that. She's a good cook, so yeah. She's <laughs> really good, right? Perfect. Okay, our turn. One of my teens, come over. One of our teens. Okay, Francesca, since um hi Neil. Thanks for joining my um Jessica, it's your turn to show yourself. Mikael showed himself last time. Look at this goodness. Ooh. And Mick, can you show the streusel as well? This is our streusel, everybody. It's all done. Gina, we're going to try to plate and show everybody. That's our streusel. Can you guys see it? Bubbling on the side. Ready? All right. Mikael, Cheska, oh, actually, actually Cheska, come here, baby girl. Yes, there's true, so people, looks good. So there we go. Um, friends and family, do try the recipe. And when you do, let us know how you like it. For real. Come here, baby girl. Try. We have our daughter trying our casserole this time, honey. You want to plate some of this trousseau, please? Okay. And I'll try that one. This is our daughter, Francesca. She has been the one answering your Facebook questions and yes. comments. Yes. So and good, just, yes. Just blow it first. Yeah. Blow it first and tell us if you like it, my love, for real. And then look at that trousseau. Maybe we should ask Sky to come and have some of this trousseau. <laughs> I'm helping her. I'm helping her blow. Okay, I'll get her here in just a second. It's good, she said. For real? Eh, for real. Eh. <laughs> anyway, there right. we go. Um, the lastly, like here's this true soul. Sky, I'm sorry. You can come get some tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Gina, this time, last, before we sign off. Let me see your Struso lady and how you like it. Let us know. And Wang did it too, her daughter. And Wang. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my love. You can have it now. Uh, Marms, okay, my daughter's. Which one? Marms. I like you. Okay, let's go to Darren again. Mikael, I think Sky is trying the Mexican casserole. It's a little hot. It's slow. <laughs> you can probably bite it now. Mmm, really good. Okay, thank you, Sky, for going live on Facebook. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome. And then, um, Gina, let me see your streusel this time, and tell us how you like it. Okay, could you please ship to Gina Prudential? Mm. Okay. There you go. I have to do it with one hand. My assistant left. He's camera shy. Just give me a few minutes. And you can add uh, ice cream on this one, Gina. Oh, yeah. Or whipped cream. Yeah. That's good. Did you use confectioner sugar? No. Hmm. Interesting. You can see it. Definitely. I love it. Our Struso is actually more brown than yours at this point. Mm -hmm. You like it? It stays so good. It's hot, right? But it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't put a lot of sugar on mine. <laughs> Got it. I said mine is not done yet. Ah, yeah, yours is not done, Wayne. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's in the middle of um, baking. Okay. Uh, just send us a photo later, okay, and your feedback. All right. Hello, everybody. Looks like it's a wrap at this point. 5.56, so we're right on time. Thank you so much for joining us.
Again, seven with Chad Marty, where you cook with seven ingredients or less in less than an hour. Yes. See you all. See you all on Thank Sunday. Thank you. Forget Wang. It will be um what time is four o'clock for you on Sunday? Six. Six two hours ahead. No. No. Two o'clock. Huh? Two o'clock. Sorry. Oh, yeah, two hours. Two hours ahead of you. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you on Sunday at four o'clock our time, two o'clock your time. Tawanda, four o'clock on Sunday. Okay? All, All right. right. Yeah, I hope to see you again. Thank you again for coming and joining us. Enjoy your dinner, everyone. Bon appetit. Gina, please um, send us a photo of your family enjoying yeah. dinner. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Right. See you all again. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're done, Korea. So Thank you so much.